If you've had a pellet grill for any length of time, you're going to know these next two words, auger jam. Hey everybody, Midlife Draft E here. Now, if you saw my last video, you know I recently went out and got myself a Cuisinart 4-in-1 Wood Creek pellet grill. It's been great and we've cooked a lot of food on it, but now I have an auger jam. Totally my fault. I left the cover off after the last time we used it. It rained, a little water got in the auger box, and now the auger is jammed. So let's get in here, take it apart, and see what it takes to get it unclogged. I missed a step. Before you take the auger box out, make sure you empty the pellet hopper. Who would have thought? As you're going through this next part, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Okay, with your auger box in this position, flip it over so you can access the panel on the other side. From here, remove the four screws on top and the two on the far end. And once you get that done, lift this panel off and just set it aside. Next, you need to remove the end panel nearest the circuit board by removing four screws on the end and set aside. Obviously easier said than done. Okay, this is the part where things start getting tricky. You can see that the circuit board is mounted to a metal plate above the auger motor. Remove those two screws holding this plate in place and set them aside. Now, we'll disconnect the circuit board connections. First, remove the two blue connectors from the fuse. Next, unplug the three front panel connectors from the circuit board. They have little pinch releases, so be mindful of those. Finally, unbundle the wiring harness. You may have a zip tie attached that'll need to be cut off first. We're looking for the red-white pair that goes down to the auger motor. Once you find it, unplug it from the harness and you're ready to go to the next step. The final step before pulling out the circuit board is to remove the ground screw. Move the wiring harness out of the way and remove the screw holding the green wire in place. Carefully pull the circuit board attached to the metal plate out from the end. It may catch on the auger motor, but you can turn the motor out of the way by hand. There are still wires connected to the board, so only pull it out enough to set it next to the box. Remove the large screw that secures the auger plug in place. For me, this step was the biggest pain in the whole process, unscrewing the motor from the auger. The screw is held in place by a lock nut that is hard to get to. But to do this, get a good grip on the lock nut and then loosen the screw. A good pair of needle nose would be great here, but I couldn't find mine, so I used forceps. On this step, good luck guys. If you made it this far, you can now pull out the motor. Next, pull out the auger plug. You may need to wiggle it a bit to get it loose. Time to remove the auger. If you're lucky, it might just pull or twist out by hand. I needed some channel locks to twist it loose from the pellet concrete lodged in the tube, but once I loosened it, I was able to twist it out the rest of the way by hand. Hopefully you have better luck than I did. Now is where you have to dig around the house and find something that'll fit in the auger tube that can break loose the jam. Just make sure whatever you use is safe, or, or at least safe-ish. I had an old railroad spike and a hammer. I ended up setting the unit on the end and hammering the spike down through the jam until it broke loose. Once loose, I dumped out the junk, and there you have it. That pile of crap is a nice reminder to always cover your grill when you're done. Now all you have to do is put it back together. One tip though, put the auger, the auger plug, and the auger motor back together before reinserting them. You'll be glad you did. So there you have it. That's how you unclog an auger jam on the Cuisinart 4-in-1 Wood Creek Pellet Grill. 
Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you take anything else away from this, remember, when you're done grilling, cover your grill. Thanks again. We'll see you next time. Bye.